My dear students, welcome back to a new scholastic year. This is your individuals and societies teacher, teacher Dima Abusharikh. I will start first by telling you a little bit about me. My name is Dima, and I've been teaching um, for 16 years. I'm an artist and a writer. I have two initiatives, and I am a researcher. For this year, we will have two books, one national book and the other is international book. We're going to cover four units. In the international book entitled Individuals and Societies, we're going to cover how our societies governed, what are natural hazards, and how the societies respond to them. How can new technologies affect our identities and relationship? And in the national book, we're going to cover geography in the Arab world. Now, in the book, we're going to have, in each unit, we're going to have a statement of inquiry that provides the framework for this or for the unit's inquiry. And we will have inquiry questions that lead us through the exploration, okay, that, the, that you develop throughout the chapter. We will have activities, that are designed to develop your approaches to learning skills. Um, we're going to cover four main key concepts in individuals and societies. We're going to cover change, global interaction, time, place and space, and systems. Our assessment criteria are going to be knowing and understanding, investigating, communicating, and thinking critically. Now, while the book provides opportunities for action and plenty of content to, content to enrich the conceptual relationships, you must be an active part of the process. Guidance is given to help you with your own research, as well as linking and developing your study of the individuals and societies to global issues in our 21st century world. It's essential that you show your, um, your personality in the classes and you sh to show your point of view. Of course, as we said, we are going to link our individuals and societies to global issues uh, in our world throughout a global context. The global context could be identities and relationships, uh, fairness and development, orientation in time and space, personal and cultural expression, scientific and technical innovation, globalization and sustainability. Each unit will be connected to one of these global contexts. And this is part of the American, the modern American school uh, um, vision and mission. Of course, if you want to contact me, you can contact me on my email as it is provided in front of you dima.abusharikh at mas.edu.jo and of course you can call the school uh, if you want me throughout the day. For resources, for your research or for any project that you are going to conduct throughout this year, you can use resources from the library, books, articles, research papers, and so on. If you ask me, um, the teacher, how can we, uh, or what resources can we have or are available at our school? At our school, you can find resources in the library and through educational sites throughout your computers. Of course, there is the BC. The BC is going to be rich with resources that you can use in your research or in your uh, upcoming projects. 
that's all. I can't wait to see you guys in my class. Um, I'm pretty sure that this year is going to be a fruitful year. Love and respect to all.